uh, it's appalling, the things that he says, and then you say to me, uh, tearing up his falsehoods, isn't that the wrong message? No, it isn't. It's just I have tried to be gracious with him. I'm always dignified. I thought that was a very dignified act compared to my exuberance, as I said. Uh, but uh, uh, we will not allow any president to use that capital, that chamber of the House of Representatives, of the People's House, as a backdrop for him. Then I start to think there has to be something uh, that clearly indicates to the American people that this is not the truth. And uh, he has shredded the truth in his speech. He's shredding the Constitution in his conduct. I shredded his state of his mind address. So yesterday, the Senate acted first time in history that a, uh, a senator has voted against his own president in a, uh, a decision regarding uh, impeachment. God bless him for his courage. This morning, the president said, when president, people use faith as an excuse to do I don't know if he said bad things, but whatever he said was just so completely inappropriate, especially at a prayer breakfast. Uh, we are now, the, the Senate has spoken in terms of any punishment to the president. He's impeached forever, no matter what he says or whatever headlines he wants to carry around. You're impeached forever. You're never getting rid of that scar. Uh, and history will always record that you were impeached for undermining the security of our country, jeopardizing the integrity of our elections, and violating the Constitution of the United States.